Continuous rise in fossil fuel costs and possible disruptions to oil supply is forcing many countries to consider alternative energy sources. One such alternative has been nuclear energy. To some, it has zero emissions and reduces dependence on foreign oil. But to others, it's a different story. If nuclear had to compete in the marketplace, which it has had until the heavy subsidies of the Energy Act of 2005 in our country, no one's willing to invest in it. The market has spoken on nuclear. It is not an attractive investment given the risks and given the costs compared to virtually anything else. At the recently held Energy Efficiency Forum in Washington, D.C., David Goldstein is pushing for alternative and more energy efficient sources, such as wind and solar. But to his dismay, more funds seem to find their way to nuclear and energy that the Middle East also California wants to produce. By concentrating on nuclear power, which is 3 to $5 a watt, and ignoring energy efficiency that's 30 cents a watt, um, these countries could be making a big mistake. One of the richest countries with oil fields and the second largest gas reserves in the world is Iran. Besides its first $1 billion Russian-built and fueled Boucher nuclear power plant, it is planning to build... 19 others. Its energy minister explains why. Each day that we use our oil and gas, we are taking one step toward their depletion. The country wants to use nuclear energy to feed national demand for electricity, while it exports oil for foreign currency revenues. But its insistence to make its own nuclear fuel to feed its future nuclear reactors a process more costly than importing it, raises suspicions about Tehran's intentions to make nuclear weapons. This could propel the Middle East into a nuclear arms race. Turkey, Morocco and Egypt plan to have nuclear power plants within the next decade. Tunisia, Algeria, Jordan and Syria have declared intentions to pursue nuclear energy. The United Arab Emirates and Libya have just signed nuclear cooperation agreements with France. And the U.S has just concluded a similar agreement with Bahrain. Well, I think that's evidence, again, of this administration's uh, lack of commitment to the right solution from an environmental point of view and from uh, an economic point of view. Um, I would love to see this administration helping uh, Middle Eastern countries to improve energy efficiency. Solar energy, I think, would be a, a very attractive source for the Middle East. And to him, that's a safer bet for a clean, cost-effective energy without the risk of a nuclear cloud.